Now, the cool thing with style is that if you want to catch the curve and beat the trends and kind of be the trendsetter, all you really have to do is kind of study the runways. Now, reality is runway style is really weird, flamboyant, and kind of fruity. Most people would not actually wear any of that in real life. But what happens is all you have to study is the color palettes, the textures, little things that they're doing because that's what major fast fashion stores are going to replicate and that's what's going to end up being trending that season. So for today's video, I did all the heavy lifting for you guys. I looked through that stuff, found what was trending and condensed it to the seven most stylish things that I think you should be doing this summer. The first one is kind of obvious and it's just going sockless. If there ever is a season to try going sockless, it's definitely summer. It does have its function where it you just feel lighter you also look lighter and cooler and again it's trending and in style right now now the trick to going sockless i've mentioned this before you never ever actually want to go completely sockless especially in leather shoes get yourself no-show socks you can buy them in packs of three for like under 15 bucks i think and they'll help you give that sockless look without actually going sockless you still have the comfortability of a sock there these that you see here are from the tie bar i mentioned these before the tie bar is a sponsor of our show and the really cool thing is that everything that they have in their store is super affordable one fashion trend you want to pull out is that whole sockless look the second trend is neutrals or stone washed colors now like i said it's all about looking at the colors a lot of that color was seen on the runway, those stone wash, those neutrals, and the really cool thing with this color is that it works with almost every skin palette. In the same manner, the third trend is pastel colors. Now, one little caveat that I have with pastels is that they're a little bit too unmasculine, especially if you go completely pastels. It just looks a little too funny for me, almost clownish. The way that I do it, I only pick one pastel color and then everything else is normal. The fourth style trend for the summer that I saw a lot was plaid prints and anything. Plaid pants, plaid shirts, plaid ties, anything you can think of. If you have some sort of gingham or even plaid, it's pretty much in style and will be trending. Now me, I don't like to mix too many patterns. You see me, I'm, I'm always wearing solid shirts. I find it easier to pair. I preferably rather wear a plaid tie. I think it's an easier combination and it's again, not so loud and in your face, but you're still in style and using trendy pieces. If you wanna go this route of just wearing a tie, check out the tie bar. The tie bar has an endless selection of ties that you can choose from, from anything from thick ties to thin ties to solid ties to plaid ties, which is why I'm gonna recommend them to you guys because if you're looking for fun ties or solid, whatever type of tie you're looking for, the tie bar probably has them. And a great thing right now is that Father's Day is coming. If you want to upgrade your dad's style this Father's Day, get him some ties, get him some plaid shirts, maybe even get him some fun no-show socks so he can wear with sneakers. Before you know it, you two are going to be making a deadly stylish father-son combo. As for five, let's talk a little bit about footwear, sp more specifically sneakers. Sneakers are definitely trending back and they're starting to come even more stronger. I think the community is even getting stronger and for summer, a trend that is definitely strong and it's been strong for a while is knitted sneakers you got nike with your fly knits you got your adidas with your prime knits basically any type of sneaker that's knitted is perfect for summer it's getting to the point where you got adidas modernizing their classics like their stan smiths they're coming out with prime knit stan smith so this is a clear sign to you guys that any knitted type of footwear sneaker is definitely stylish number six is shorts of course i was going to mention shorts shorts are not so much of a trend but a staple but of course you see this all the time on the runways the one thing with shorts is of course you want them to fit well you want them to be cut above the knee i usually opt for two to three inches above the knee i think this is the perfect length you get to show off a little bit of leg without it being too excessive but you also want it to be tapered on the leg. You don't want baggy shorts that make you look wider than you really are. You nail down that proportion, right? You got shorts that you can wear with almost anything. I like to wear my shorts with t-shirt. If I wanna dress them up a bit, I'll wear them with a button down untucked. If I wanna dress them up even more, I'll throw on some loafers and tuck in an Oxford and I have a super dressy short. And finally, number seven, of course we can't talk trends without talking fabrics and it's just breathable fabric. Obviously the ones that come in mind is you have your seersucker. You have your linen, which is my top favorite. You also have linen shirts. You have cotton suits, your chinos. These are fabrics that you want to implement in your summer and that were definitely seen across runways for this spring summer 2017. You also have your chambray. Chambray is usually just in shirts, but it's a fabric that I love because it looks like a denim, 
but it's even more breathable. It's lighter than a denim. So it's gonna keep you cool during summer. If you guys wanna check out this chambray shirt, I'm also gonna have it linked below because it's from the Tybor. As you see, it fits really well, but the point is, is that the fabric is perfect for the summer. This is what you want to ensure you stay cool all summer long. This is perfect time for you guys to jump ahead of the curve, start stockpiling in some of these trends to make sure you are one of the most stylish guys in your area. That's it for me in today's video, guys. Also, if you want to check out any of the products that I mentioned from the Tie Bar, these, these guys' new collection definitely reflects a lot of summer trends that are going to be in style. If you guys want to check them out, I'm going to have them linked below. That's it for me today. See you next time.